Hello again, everybody. Sebastian here with another Watch Our Runs video. In this one, we're going to be talking about this exclusive gear that's now been introduced into the game. Here I am actually in the test server. They were nice enough to drop a good chunk of gear for me to go through and kind of get to uh, familiarize myself on how exactly these things are uh, presenting themselves, especially the substat. So we'll cover the exclusive for each one of the heroes, the exclusive for each one of the factions, and also pay attention because somewhere in the video, there will be instructions as to how you can possibly win diamonds and W gold. We have some new t3 sets now in the game now they introduced this two-piece astral guardian set is essentially the left hand side of a gear we're just going to make our heroes especially our defenders and some of our attackers a little bit more tankier so now we're up to 30 percent more hp and up to more defense 15 percent so that is going to be a nice set in addition to the immortal that we already have in the game so this is all now just a new power creep right we're getting new gear sets and this is how exactly a game then scales up when it comes to that so make sure that you're using your keys and gear dungeon wherever whichever level whichever level you're in just farm it every month so you can get some fabric and um be able to forge some of these pieces in the right hand side the Cataclysm is also being introduced. This one here is upon landing a crit hit, so you have to crit. With a basic attack, it increases the hero's damage by 9% for 5 seconds. And it can stack up to 5 times, so if your hero is fast, you can get up to that 45. So this Cataclysm is kind of, you can kind of think of it as being like a beefed up Night Terror set, the T T1 set, which increases damage by 25% for 3 seconds after making crit hit. So this one actually allows you to scale that up. So this should be a nice little set. So of course, you and I know we're going to be intrigued. We're going to have to test some of these to see if they are worth actually make a good set of it because we do have to figure out if they're going to be able to supplant the Inferno Roar and the Soul Banner kind of sets that we currently do rely on to beat content in the game. And then the last one here is the Wings of Grace. So this one here is kind of a beefed up invigoration one because this one here it'll have a healing effect of addition to 30 but it also increased the attack of the hero and the ally with the highest attack in range by 12 percent this one here is you're going to have to test to see once you are able to apply the wings of grace on the one hero if you bring in somebody and you want to make sure that this inspiration is going to be applied to another hero and not be added on top of the hero with the highest attack in range so we have to yeah this is something that we have to make sure that it can be applied to multiple units especially if the hero's range is one that can cover multiple on the field at the same time and we'll see how much better it is than the invigoration set by just looking at the numbers it should be slightly better so that's what we can look forward to so uh to kind of open things up they introduce two different types one of them is going to be faction specific and then there's another set exclusive gear that is hero specific so let's talk about here on the for the watch guard there are going to be two types uh two two uh, pieces that we can look uh, for to try to give these specific heroes from the faction uh, from the from the watch card faction a boost they're going to be a ring for the wings of grace the invigoration one and then the cataclysm the one that gets damaged as you add crit hits the northerner is going to be the tempered will the ring and there's going to be also a ring with the cataclysm so the temper will again boost uh to make sure uh damage reduction so this will apply to the defenders in the faction and the curse cult is getting two one of them is going to be in held slamming so we'll have to see if this set actually can outperform solomon the kana with all these extra boosts and cataclysm is going to be the other one 
So you can look here, the Watch Guard exclusive now increases damage dealt and healing effect by 8%. So there's that, there's that mix, right? So it's Cataclysm, then you're going to get the boost on damage. If you are trying to get somebody in the Wings of Grace, you're going to get extra healing effect out of that. For the Northern Throne exclusive, when deployed, increases max HP by 10%. I mean... I, in some situations, we do want a little bit of um, HP in our damage dealer, so that's probably where that becomes applicable. But it makes sense for the Temper Will that you are now even add adding an additional 10% HP to that. So that for that for that specific faction, I think the Defenders is going to become the best set. And the Curse Cult exclusive it increases damage dealt to enemies inflicted with slow. That is one of the keys, one of the specialties of this faction is applying slow. Also stun, freeze, immobilize state, and other CC effects by 10%. So, you know, this, for those of you that are lucky enough to get him from the early gear dungeon stages, you're going to probably be able to clear things like 121, maybe even AMR 22 a lot faster with this type of piece uh it's, it's just looking you're just gonna have we're just gonna have to see if we can if it's worth sacrificing some stats for us to equip this gear in our heroes okay let's take a little break here it is giveaway time folks that is right moonton has been nice enough to give me two thousand diamonds to a give away to the viewers of this video so essentially what is going to be is 200 diamonds for 10 players. If you are interested, what you have to do is go into your profile, copy paste your ID. So you, you get the ID with the server. Just go ahead and copy paste that in the comment section of the video with the keyword exclusive. Just if you want to make a comment, just make sure that the key, that the word exclusive is there. When I do the drawing, that's what I'm going to do. The comment, the specific keyword is going to be exclusive. And it's, it's going to start drawing from the comment board there. And I'm going to select 10. If you meet, if you do exactly what you're told, you give me that ID. I'm going to pass that on to the community manager and you should get your 200 diamonds in your account when they start distributing the price for that. But in addition to that, I I am going to give 1,999, which is equivalent to 1999 of W gold for your account. Now, if you are strictly free to play, make sure uh, you do not enter because then you do not want this to be added to your account. But if you don't mind and you want it a little bit just to get you maybe an extra pack, some stamina, whatever it is that you want to use it for, just make sure that you do the same thing that I described above. What I'll do is I'll draw for the diamonds and then put everybody back in the pool and then I'll do the one drawing. The one drawing and that one, yes, the keyword is going to be extremely essential i want that keyword exclusive one person will then get the w gold and that is essentially to thank you all for getting me past the thousand threshold here in youtube channel for any any type of content creator anybody that decides to this this is a threshold that everybody looks forward to and the watcher of realms community has been instrumental in getting me there and so to thank you i want to give you the w gold and so we'll make that happen it is easy for me to do it because all i have to do is enter the id the server and then just carry on the transaction and show up in your account so we'll work those details out um i'll ping you in your comment when you win the w gold so we'll get that straightened out and make sure that you get your w gold so again thank you all very much for helping me reach the thousand i do appreciate your support all right, let's go back to the gear. So they also introduced gear for specifically for heroes in the game. The Nightmare Faction, uh, we got three of them uh, with Salazar getting an amulet in the Hell's Lament uh, set. The Breastplate for Abomination in the Astral Guard set. Now, listen, this is actually, it can actually be good because remember, in some situations, we do want Abomination to be a little bit tanky right so i think that this actually will help us with that one example that i can give you that just top of mind is the new amr 21 and uh 19 and 21 and gear dungeon 2 so those are kind of but that that essentially will become a big big piece 
Here with uh, uh, Valkyra, we have a weapon, a weapon in the Wicked Vengeance. Breastplate and the Astral Guardian set again for Torador. That makes sense. That's what he specializes in. Light of Grace here is just a little bit of extra healing. We know that what that set can do. Uh, Breastplate for Constance. And Silas uh, here again. I'm going to move myself. Silas in the Hell Lament. He has a Bengal. And it's actually a pretty good uh, nice little uh, stat boost that he's getting from that. So let's uh, let me describe to you just really quick from what we were able to find here in the test server, especially with Salazar. Salazar's is really good, but it increases his slash uh, blitz number strikes by two. So he'll be doing a little bit more damage in that. So this will be a nice little piece for him. In terms of abomination, again. This is in the Astral Guardian set. It's going to be a good tanky piece for him. So if you're able to equip Abomination with one of these pieces, after casting the Boundless Endurance uh, twice, twice, it increases the chance of the basic attack to trigger the charge attack by 10% and then boost charge attack damage by 100%. This, this is what I was telling you initially, that AMR 1921 and Gear Dungeon 2 this actually will make Abomination a little bit more viable in that regard. Okay, so now with Torador, uh, I know it's, it, I got a little bit cut off here, but essentially what you're looking at is when you deploy him, it increases HP by 10%. We always love more HP on Torador. It increases the chance of triggering the Atrocious Trample by, 10, uh, by 5% when attacking. So... In the in the Torsus trample, if you're increasing, you're getting more stunts out of this as well. So this actually will make him a little bit more attractive to use in Samurai as well. We already some of us use him, especially on, on uh, uh, Apple Apocalypse Two. Uh, that's why I like to use him. So just the fact that I can get a little bit more stunts out of him, so I can deal with the chain somewhat, makes him even better for, with the speeds, and it increases the chance by an extra five percent. So during the ultimate, it increases the chance of the tramp the atrocious trample by an extra five percent. So this is very good for him. The Valkyrie exclusive effect here, each stack of the Sword of Victory grants an additional 1% attack bonus. Now, remember, she already has a passive that already stacking attack. So if you are even going and adding more attack into this, you can actually maybe sacrifice a little bit of attack in her build, give her a little bit more crit damage, and then you know that you're going to get those builds of attack as the battle goes on uh, longer. So this would definitely become applicable wherever you need Valkyra to uh, sustain a long time in terms of doing damage so that's that's essentially what that piece would allow you to do constancy as she'll get rage regeneration auto she'll get three more so she'll come back to ultimate a little bit quicker and then increases the healing multiplier of the basic attack by 40 percent and this is the one that i was telling you the silas it, it, you're already if you haven't bond especially uh especially because it's all sniping you can really get a lot of damage from him so i think if uh if you go and look at his passive and in in his kit when you get the soul sniping activated and then on top of that you take his passive into account now you're at 150 percent so with this now you're even increasing that to 160 percent so this is again where you, we're going to have to test things out to see if just getting this piece here just adding that piece sacrificing the set will that actually give you more damage or vice versa if you for some reason get a good hell's lemon set built um you know forged and you put it on him is that set going to be better than let's say the infernal roar set which is actually what i prefer to give him uh in 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 uh for to beat the content in the game so we'll certainly test that out and see what we can determine from that uh the last four here again um blocking poor helga so let me move myself down here Helga has an amulet and cataclysm. Silas, a weapon and we can vengeance. Uh, Bjarna here, a bangle and cataclysm. And again, uh, Morgan here, a bangle and cataclysm. Let's look at their exclusive effects. Helga's going to get more attack speed. That's essentially what you want in her build anyway. You, you want to take advantage of that attack, uh, specialized attack speed. 
So this will just make that build even easier to do. And it increased her quill storm damage by 30%. Listen, she's not a like a big damage dealer, but just the fact that you can get a little bit more damage from that, we'll take it, right? Especially in the areas of the game where we use her, where she specializes, which is one, Semra, two, the Lord of Sticks. We'll take that extra, just a little extra damage so we can get that triple S um, threshold if we need to. Sertra, this is going to be great, especially when we're dealing with shields. So we already know that the guild bosses have uh, shields that we can need to contend with. And also Lord of Sticks, that's another area. That's another shield that we have to that we have to bring down. But where we need to bring down shields, we can bring Setram if you have them and you have the speeds. It increases damage dealt to shields by 20%. And when in overloaded state, it gains 10% penetration. That's always good. We'll take more penetration. That means more damage. Bierna. Oh, my queen. My queen. This is, is going to make her so much better. So much better. It increases the damage of the Reaper Grasp by 100%. So we're already into the 200s. She, she's going to be doing a lot of damage with this. I have a feeling that we can sacrifice some stats with this. And the execution threshold now is increased by 10%. So if you have her fully skilled and you already got the 35% threshold, you add this on top of it, now you're at 45. So you only need to bring these guys down to 45 for that execution tool to proc. Perfect. Where do we need that gear? Dungeon 1, GR1, especially if you're still trying to get past 121, for example. Morrigan, it reduces the curse pact effect activation time by 20 seconds. Quick, So that's is actually perfect. So this comes back a little bit or it, apply, it gets applied and activated quicker. The more damage it's going to do, the quicker you're going to be able to get rid of waves. And after the curse pact takes effect, it increases the damage dealt by an additional 15%. That's a lot of damage. 15%. Would you take that wherever you, you, you can get it? So Morrigan just becomes a little bit more attractive to use because things like this, you get the curse pack activation to come into play a little bit quicker and you get more damage from her. You're going to use her in certain situations. I, but this is because I like to play the hero is I use her for gear dungeon one and she can really do some very good damage up top. I team her up with Comet. They take care of the top really well. So oh, that is the overview of the new exclusive uh, artifacts. So let's just, for example, here play with the Amamination one. They gave me multiple copies of this one so we can go through them. And the one thing that I, you can pick up from this right away is that two of the substats are fixed. I've been clicking on many of these and you can see now I'm up to 9, 10, 11, 12. The common pattern here is that the HP bonus and the defense bonus is fixed. So for many of these exclusives, the top two rows are set. Those are the ones that you are more likely to get. All you're hoping is the RNG hits here. Now, these are not ancient pieces, so they could possibly roll bad, but I would suggest you probably keep one or two good pieces if they don't roll very well until you get the substance that you want because we have the hammers we can recast it uh we have the uh the ores and we can just select if one stat is the bad roll we can select that and get that uh fixed and and try to improve on the piece and then after that you just keep that piece and then you hope you roll one even better later on in the future so i kind of been looking here because uh i'm thinking of the type of builds that you could do with something like this especially in nestor guardian set that uh you're getting extra hp and defense and you're getting more hp and defense from these two substats so the things that i kind of look for when uh that this comes into play so let's say okay we know that these two are fixed now what do we look for i would say maybe can we get away with something like this yeah i did get two so something like this is a little bit more damage if you wanted to or if uh let's see just for curiosity's sake is attack speed available and it is so you can look for something like that if you want to attack bonus attack speed get the crit red from the other pieces you can do that the other way that you can do it too is if you're going for a tank build you know in the glacier set you hp um hp percentage attack substats something similar to that you could do here if you wanted to if you want to make sure that he crits 
we can definitely do that so there we got three pieces here to toy around with so that's essentially what we're looking for here uh in terms of that so that that's gonna be it easy easy because we know we have two of the subsets already fixed we're just hoping to hit on the other two and if you get something like this perfect now we can get a good build out of abomination bierna's piece here uh this one was one that i saw and for her this is exactly the type of stats that you want to see for a piece for bierna crit rate crit damage rage region attack subs uh, attack flat she doesn't need speed her basic speed does not matter right so this is kind of the perfect piece for her so like i said uh, we could recast it if you don't like the rolls here or if you're happy with the rage region on this and you want to go and try to see if you can get the crit damage boosted uh by uh refining it we could essentially do that so that's exactly kind of the things that we were looking forward to and yes uh in terms of looking here at viernas the top two are the fixed ones which are crit rate crit damage perfect that's exactly what we look for in this type of faces especially attack bonus and make sure that we can hopefully get rage region to make sure that we come back to that ultimate a little bit quicker all right that that'll do it for this video please do remember that the giveaway is going on right now as this thing is published once there are enough comments for me to do the drawing i will do the drawing and then in the next video where hopefully i can bring you some data with this new exclusive set especially for some of the heroes our favorite heroes in the game then i'll do the drawing present the drawing there and we'll figure out who gets 200 diamonds and who gets the 1999 gold Thank you all very much for your support. I do appreciate it. Please do hit like and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you all on the next Watch Our Rounds video.